In the session, we'll be discussing about some of the questions from biological classification and that too from Kingdom Monera. Those have been asked in some of the other competitive exams. When you move on to the first question, the first question is oxygenic photosynthesis occurs in. Now, oxygenic photosynthesis means the photosynthesis which releases oxygen. So, it will only be what you call coming, then CO2 should react with water. When CO2 reacts with water, apart from the glucose formation, what comes is oxygen. And that photosynthesis is called oxygenic photosynthesis. So, oxygenic photosynthesis is the main feature of higher plants. Bacteria, they actually don't release oxygen. I've told you that they are an oxygenic photosynthetic. But I've also told you that cyanobacteria, they have evolved the oxygen on the earth. So from cyanobacteria, they are similar to plants because they also have oxygenic photosynthesis. So you'll have to look forward for the name of a cyanobacteria. If you can look, all these three are actually photosynthetic bacteria. What is cyanobacteria is oscillatoria. So oscillatoria is the correct answer for this particular question because oxygen was evolved from this particular cyanobacteria, from this, uh, you know, the cyanobacterial members. And that is how it has been seen in higher plants also. Moving on to the next question, the motile bacteria are able to move by. Now, if you can look here, mesosomes, if you remember, that's a, what you call imagination of cell membrane towards cytoplasm. And that was responsible for DNA replication, mitochondrial activities in bacteria, like mitochondria is not present, so some activities like respiration and all were done by. Pili, if you remember, now pili were responsible for conjugation. If you talk about fimbri, fimbri were for the adherence. What is the answer? It's flagella. So I've told you that bacteria, they basically move with the flagella. So this is the correct answer for this particular question is the bacteria, they actually move by flagella. Coming to the next question now. So the question says the organisms like methanogens are most abundant in. Now I've told you about methanogens if you remember. So methanogens are actually the members of archaebacteria. And methanogens live in marshy areas. Apart from marshy areas, they are also found in ruminants. If you remember like the cattles. So they basically have in the, in the what you call ruminant organisms also, you have ruminant cattle also, you have methanogens present. Now these methanogens you will be getting them over cattle yard because cattle yard will find the ruminants. Moving on to the next question, nuclear membrane is absent in. Now nuclear membrane is absent in any of the prokaryotes. So you'll have to look forward for any of the prokaryotes out here. When you look, volvox is an alga, penicillium is a fungus. Agaricus is also a fungus. What remains is nostoc. And nostoc is the kingdom monera member. So nuclear membrane will be absent in nostoc. When you move on to the next question, in five kingdom system of classification, which single ki kingdom out of the following can include blue-green algae, cyanobacteria, nitrogen-fixing bacteria, when the bacteria is coming or archaebacteria is coming, you know that the member, they are the member of kingdom monera. So this answer is kingdom monera. When you move on to the next question, this is a very important question. I've always told you that maximum nutritional diversity is present in kingdom, what you call Monera. Because I've told you they have autotrophic, they have what you call phototrophic or chemotrophic. When they have heterotrophic, they can be saprophytic, symbiotic or parasitic. All these modes are present only in bacteria. If you talk about plantae, autotrophic. Fungus, heterotrophic. Animalia, heterotrophic. So most of the mode of nutrition are present in Monera. So Monera is the maximum nutritionally diverse kingdom. Moving on to the next question. The question is, for the first time, the bacteria were observed by. I've told you that Anton von Leeuwenhoek was the first person who observed bacteria and called them as animalcule. So the answer for this question is Anton von Leeuwenhoek. Move on to the next question. Chromosome in a bacteria can be considered as one. I've told you, the bacteria is actually having the circular DNA. And this circular DNA is regarded as chromosome 1. Like the chromosome, your cell, uh, the DNA is regarded as 46 chromosome. But bacterial circular DNA is regarded as one chromosome. And that one chromosome is GC rich. GC rich is for guanine and cytosine content. So bacterial DNA is always GC rich. It is rich in guanine and cytosine. And it is always circular. So the answer is the first one. We move on to the next particular question. 
the transformation was discovered by you remember like three sexual reproduction methods in bacteria there were three sexual reproduction methods out of which there were like transformation conjugation transduction and transformation was the experiment where one bacteria was taking the dna from any other bacteria when the other bacteria was releasing the dna to the media that experiment was done on diplococcus pneumoniae remember like the mice the injections of mice like mice were given the injections and uh, you know the work was done so transformation was actually what you call performed by this particular scientist called griffiths remember this particular answer which is griffith when you move on to the next question and oxygenic photosynthesis i have told you already the time we discussed on the first question only the oxygenic photosynthesis is seen in cyanobacteria and other higher plants and oxygenic photosynthesis is seen in photosynthetic bacteria so when you talk about chlamydomonas is an alga hulva is an alga spirogyra it's an alga again so all the alga will have what you call oxygenic photosynthesis rhodospirillium is a photosynthetic bacteria so the answer for this is rhodospirillium move on to the next question the structure which perform the function of mitochondria in bacteria very important in our body mitochondria is there to perform the functions of respiration to perform Krebs cycle ets and yield you energy but bacteria are prokaryotes and prokaryotes don't have any other cell organelle apart from ribosomes i've told you so who is doing that particular function of mitochondria or who is preparing what you call the energy in case of prokaryotes so for that you have mesosomes if you remember the cell membrane was taking in foldings towards cytoplasm and these enfoldings are responsible for what you call the respiration or the activities which are done by mitochondria and eukaryotes so answer is mesosomes move on to the next question the mycoplasma the statement you will have to find which is wrong they cause diseases in plants i've told you they do they are also called ppelo yes they are pleuropneumonia like organisms they are pleomorphic many forms they occur in many forms that is also true and because of that they are also called joker of microbiology they are sensitive to penicillin this statement is wrong they are not sensitive to penicillin they are resistant to penicillin i've told you because they don't have cell wall they don't have peptidoglycan layer when they don't have peptidoglycan layer penicillin which actually inhibits the chain between nag and nam of peptidoglycan cannot be inhibited by here so what happens is they become resistant to penicillin so the statement is wrong move on to the next question in new bacteria a cellular component that resembles eukaryotic cell so always remember whatever the organisms are leaving archaea bacteria most of the organisms will be similar with their cell membrane or plasma membrane which is always lipoproteinaceous in nature when you talk about cell wall uh, you must be seeing in eukaryotic cell the cell wall maybe if the plant it is made up of cellulose if there is like fungus it is made up of chitin if it is animal there is no cell wall but bacterial cell wall is differing uh, what you call because it has the peptidoglycan nucleus bacteria nucleus they are primitive ribosomes bacteria you have 70s eukaryotes will have 80s so all these things will differ what remains same is the plasma membrane so the answer for this question is plasma membrane we we'll talk on to the next question in the light of recent classification of living organisms into three domains you remember three domain system like there was six kingdom classification system i was teaching you there i discussed about three kingdoms for bacteria archaea and eukarya which of the following statement is true about archaea archaea now archaea completely different from prokaryotes no this is not correct they have feature of prokaryotes and that is what they are also the members of kingdom monera in five kingdom classification system they resemble eukarya in all respect no archaea has some novel features that are absent in other prokaryotes and eukaryotes that is true archaea if you remember they have branching in branching of lipids in the cell membrane which make them what you call survive in harsh climate and that is how they are different from other what you call eukaryotes and prokaryotes archaea completely differ from both prokaryotes and eukaryotes this is also wrong the correct statement is c move on to the next question which among the following living organism will completely lay the cell wall now cell wall are present in kingdom monera member kingdom fungus member kingdom plantae member it is absent in animalia or it is absent in some protista members so now you have to look forward what is what saccharomyces is a fungus cell wall will be there blue green algae is a cyanobacteria kingdom monera members what you call uh, cell wall will be present when we talk about cyanobacteria it's nothing but the same so cell wall will be present c fin is a member of kingdom animalia 
So when the member of kingdom many many are the cell wall will not be there. Answer for this is D. Moving on to the next question, which of the following is mainly produced by the activity of anaerobic bacteria on sewage? Now anaerobic bacteria on sewage, this is the work of archaebacteria, especially methanogens. So you will get the marsh gas produced. Marsh gas is nothing but the methane. So methane will be produced out here. Next question, nitrogen fixation in root nodules of Elnus. Very important, Elnus. And one more plant I am telling you, Casuarena. Elnus and Casuarena are non-leguminous plants. And we are talking about the symbiotic relationship of Elnus and Casuarena, which is done by Frankia. Very important name. Remember this difference between rhizobium and Frankia. Rhizobium fixes nitrogen, getting combined with leguminous plants. But Frankia combines with non-leguminous plant and fixes up the nitrogen. So Elnus, for Elnus, you have Frankia coming up into the option. So these were some of the questions from Kingdom Monera. Those have been asked in many of the competitive exams. In next session, I'll be discussing about some questions based upon Kingdom Protista and Kingdom Fungi.